What makes modeling so frustrating? I, I was thinking about this question. I was looking at a few forums and I came across this question and it basically, what is it that, why is 3D modeling so frustrating? And I was thinking about it and I was reading some comments and some other blog posts about it. And I, I wanted to just kind of talk about a little bit of why it's frustrating. First, I want to say that I personally love modeling. I think it's, I, I really enjoy it. It's something that I really like doing whenever I have a chance. I just start modeling in between projects. Uh, I just really enjoy the modeling process, but it wasn't always this way. And I always had, uh, when I first started, being able to model something was was frustrating because I basically had to learn the software and I had to understand the modeling process. So. As I was going through my my initial uh, introduction to modeling and trying to figure out, you know, how to do the things that I want to do, you know, I'll I'll be online and I'll, I'll see something online, and you know, I'll, I'll see something and I'll be like, wow, that looks amazing, and and I want to I want to do something like that, and I had trouble just getting that getting to that point and as I was modeling it was like okay uh, you know how do I get from where I am now to making this awesome stuff now let me say I'm still nowhere near being able to come to that that level and I have a long long way to go but it's definitely a journey it's and it's definitely a worthwhile journey if it's if you decide that modeling is something that you really want to do and uh by the way i have no idea what i'm modeling here i'm just uh, i'm just kind of i didn't want to do a voiceover of doing something it just seems very uh impersonal but i know that modeling is definitely going to be a, a process and you're going to continue to learn. I guess basically there's nothing really can prepare you for modeling if you've never done any 3D modeling. It's it's a specific software to overcome a very specific professional uh, problems. And that's to create and to visualize something in, in 3D space. Uh, so it's unlike anything that you'll have worked on before. Even if you've done 2D work and, and worked in, you know, some uh, design and graphic design, like that that's my background. I, I've I've been a designer for 17 years. And, and when I got caught the 3D bug, there was just no letting up. I, I just knew that this was something that I wanted to do. And nothing was going to, you know, change that. And, um, and so when I first started modeling, I, I, I totally empathize with when I see somebody, a young person, they first start modeling and it's just like, ah, it's not becoming what I want it to be. And I completely understand that. And, it may be that it's not something that you want to do. And I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but I'm just saying that there could be, it could be something that's just not for you. And I think everybody kind of figures that out eventually. You know, maybe you're into game design. Maybe you're into just creating uh, you know, creating the artistic part of it and just doing digital sculpting and being able to sculpt something, you know, in Cinema 4D has a sculpting uh, layout. ZBrush is obviously one of the um, 
the main pieces of software that you want to use for digital uh, for sculpting. So maybe actually modeling polygonal modeling and moving points and and selecting edges and extruding and, and doing all these uh, using all these tools and functions to create something in 3D, maybe that's not for you, but if you really want to do it and it's something that you you want to do, you want to be able to create these things and these characters and these creatures and these environments and machines and robots and what have you, then you're going to have to go through a process and a journey of being able to... Um, uh, learn th this specific software and and learning the, the different functions that you have in the program of choice whatever it is Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya and you're gonna have to go through the process of learning these individual techniques obviously so and that just requires you know you probably heard this before, but it requires lots of practice. It requires lots of being, having your head in there and continuing to do it over and over. Um, for me, it's, it's wanting to create something. It's wanting to create something that is, you know, that, that, that's in my imagination and that's in my mind. And the difficult thing is being able to take what's inside my mind and then being able to make it a reality. Um, and so I, I think that is one of the most frustrating things that new, uh, new modelers f first overcome. And that's they know what they want to do. They have the mind. They have the mind and the design of what they want to accomplish. And they might, you might even be a good illustrator. You may even be able to draw these ideas out. And, and then when it comes time to actually creating, uh, creating these things, you actually, you just, you just don't have enough knowledge. You just, you can't get to where you want it to be. And it becomes frustrating. And when things are frustrating, it becomes boring. It becomes work instead of doing something that's fun. And, um, and so you kind of go through this process of, you know, do I really want to do this anymore? Um, Instead of having that, 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 that charge, that energy that you have and that would you usually have for things that you really love, um, maybe drawing or maybe music or, or whatever, uh, some maybe physical activity that you like doing, you know, some type of sport or something like that, and you can just do it all day long because it's just so much fun. But here's what I'll say about modeling. Once you have your head into it and you do the research and you just keep doing the studying and you learn the tools, and I think that's where I would suggest you spend a lot of your time is really honing your craft by learning the tools and mastering the tools individually. So if you're going to learn a specific concept um, say hard surface modeling and you want to take uh, the extrusion tools and the extrude inners and you want to master how that works for example and being able to do that over and over and over again now there's this thing called deliberate practice and we all know that in order to get good at something you have to practice but um, there is this other thing called deliberate practice where it's not just mindless repetition. You're not just mindlessly doing something over and over again. Um, 
and just hoping that you'll get better. So with deliberate practices, it's it's taking a very specific thing, a very having a very specific goal, and breaking it down into its smallest parts. And you take the smallest part and you you do that in repetition. You do that over and over again. For example, um, for example, if you're doing hard surface modeling and you want to do like say, um, you know, say say you're doing a a spaceship and you're doing a wing, you want to do that wing, just the wing part, and forget about all the other parts of the spaceship. Maybe maybe anatomy might be even uh, easier for you to to visualize since the spaceship is kind of can be abstract. Say you're doing anatomy and you want to learn how to model uh, a, a human body. So instead of trying to do everything at once and learn everything at once, you just focus on say for example the hand and you just model a hand. That's all you do. You model it over and over and over again until you get it correctly. But it's not just doing it over. You do it, you make your model, you make your hand model, and you have a specific uh, way that you want to do it. You want to make sure you really focus on making it, say, for example, realistic, and you want to have the proportions correct. So when you model the hand, you have that in your mind to do the proportions correctly. You do that and you keep doing it and you see, oh, well, the wrist is a little bit too big. And so the next time you do it, you make, you concentrate on making the wrist a little bit thinner. Um, maybe you made the fingers a little bit too elongated. Okay, so the next time you do it, you make the fingers a little bit more closer to its proportions um, to to the hand to the palm so you go through this process of deliberate practice in order to get this one specific thing done once you master that then you go on to say the forearm and then you go through that same process you do it over and over again until you get all the little parts of it correct and then the torso and then the hips the legs the neck the the head and you just keep going around until that point and you go through that that process until you get um, until you get to the point where you, you like the way it looks and it's proportioned and everything fits and it, it looks correct. So this process of deliberate practice is it takes um, it takes something like three sessions in order to make something instead of if it takes anything longer than three sessions then it's too big of a uh, uh, it's too big so you'll have to break that down even to smaller parts so and I know anatomy is is extremely difficult you have to do a lot of practice and it takes years and years but I'm just using that as an example because it's you know everybody has seen the, the human body, so it's it's an easy way to visually uh, imagine that in your mind. So um, this thing is getting super weird now. Um, so I think you know the frustrating part is is something that is totally understandable but you have to understand that it's something that can be overcome if it's something that you actually want to do and it's something that's fun for you to do then and you want to accomplish it it's a goal that you want to do and you want to put the time in and you're willing to put the time in you can get beyond that beginner stage of ah this is not working i'm not you know, it's not the way that I envision in my head and I'm not getting it the way that I want. Break it down into its smallest parts and and do that and go through that process of deliberate practice and 
Another thing that might help you as well is focus on becoming good at one thing. And once you once you master, once you go through the journey of mastering that one thing, um, you know, and, and say whatever it is, maybe it's it's aliens, maybe it's creatures, whatever whatever thing that you really want to do, you know, master that one that one thing, master that one. Uh, say if we want to go back to the uh, the anatomy thing, say you want to be the guy that can make you know the the best looking um, uh, heads and you just make just faces and you just become so good at that making uh, caricatures maybe make uh, cartoon characters maybe you make um, realistic models but whatever it is you want to become the very best at it. you'll know what it takes to be get get to that point you know that you know the journey of what it takes. You know the practice, the deliberate practice, focus, research, look up everything that you possibly can on that subject, whatever it is. Maybe it's it's animals, maybe it's creatures, maybe it's um, something more like uh, man-made, like, uh, like planes and cars, and maybe you're really into that. And you look at that and you research everything you can about it, even the peripheral stuff, like just mechanics and... Um, aerodynamics and that kind of thing you know what what it takes to get that so you'll be able to accomplish anything within modeling knowing that you gone through the process of of what it takes to actually learn that so you've gone through that journey so I, I think and I hope this helps a younger person or somebody that is just starting out on modeling, that it does take time and it does take research and it does take, you know, it, it does take time. It's not easier than it, it's. It's one of the harder things within 3D uh, animation. You can understand a lot of that if you have a little bit of background in in 2D animation. Um, Lighting and design if you have some drawing if you have sculpting skills Before that you can get into some of the digital sculpting but modeling because there's not so much um, That will prepare you for modeling it does require a different type of thinking um, and and look up uh, do some research on geometry I think that will help you get your head around some of these concepts. And I think that will help out a little bit as well. So I hope this helps this little kind of conversation. And this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever made on this channel. And I can't say, <laughs> I can't say that it will be the last weirdest thing you'll see me make on this channel. Um, so anyway, I hope this little video helps somebody and um, I'm going to be doing some more modeling uh, in the future and getting into some more specific areas of modeling such as hard, hard surface modeling, some organic modeling, some character modeling. So I'm going to be having a lot of fun doing some, uh, some of the modeling parts in this. And if you are new and you do decide to stick with this, um, uh, stay tuned. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.